Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Boy, oh boy, this is going to be a good one. Uh, welcome to another episode of Fearless and Moral Inventory of Oneself. Fearless and Moral Inventory of Oneself. Now, those of y'all who might not be familiar with the show, uh, it's kind of confused because, you know, no one heard of the couple. I mean, no one heard of the couple show lately, and no one heard, you know, random thoughts of no one seeing a fat boy's kitchen. Uh, you know, no one seems, uh, you know, no one seen, uh, heard a late night confession. Or uh, any of these other parts of my show is because as we speak, those things are, are not currently operating, if you will. Um, you know, health is wealth. And I found myself being in a situation where. Uh, I was just spending too much energy trying to keep up with something that wasn't as conducive, meaning the amount of energy I was expelling as far as the amount of return I could no longer keep up with or do I had to do things more important or have things done more I would say you know uh, do things more beneficial for the time that's, that I was elated or uh, allowed to do things. If I had 12 hours, I had to make sure that I did something that was worth that 12 hours that didn't have any gaps or anything. Basically, to make layman terms short, excuse me, basically to make things layman terms, or put things in the name of terms, I had to make sure that things were profitable. So, not saying those other things wasn't profitable, but they, they weren't as profitable as what I do now. Uh, disclaimer. Just because someone knows something does not know, does that not mean that they are expert in it. I'll say it again. Just because someone knows something does not make them an expert in it. What do you mean? I, as well as thousands, millions of other people in the world like to study things. Some people, when you see them, they like to watch Atlanta Housewives. Some people like to watch uh, anime. Some people like this. Some people like this. I happen to be one of those people that will sit around and watch documentaries all day. Or, re or actually read. And it puts you in a position that if you keep that type of behavior up, you'll wake up one day and you'll realize that I have, I have collected, <laughs> is a good word. Thank you, God. I have collected a large amount of information. That does not mean that I am a master of this information. So... In today's fearless and moral inventory of oneself, 
a lot of my life has been public, so please don't say who are you to talk about these things because I am telling you what I've learned through my personal experiences, and I am also telling you what have I learned, what I have learned through reading and listening and learning from people who have mastered this thing, like people who have time in, people who've been married 30 years, people who you or me can't walk up to and say, you don't know what you're talking about because the proof is in the pudding. These people are not just talking it, they are living it. So I'll steal a word from yesterday. This is basically just regurgitated information put in a form or a way that is not no type of fraud going on where I'm saying something that someone else said, but I'm just putting something that I'm learning or learnt because it's about what you have learnt today and how it portrays to your life and it's a reflection on your time on earth. It's basically putting something in review. Like if someone asks you, what what happened today? Like, how was your day, babe? And you just sat back and you just told them. That's what it is. I just do it into a, a, a way better reasoning. Or I just do it for a way better reasoning. Or I just do it for a way better understanding of that I can actually learn from these things. I hit a double bubble. I can vent, relax, get ready for sleep, clear my mind, and it's been happening. I actually been sleeping. And not just that, actually learn something just by going over what I went through that day, how I got over obstacles, how I got over things, how I graduated from one trial and tribulation to the next. God will never give you a whole woman. God will never give you a whole man. It won't happen. I can hear the haters right now. God ain't give you no whole man or no whole woman. But I'm praying and God going to send me my guardian angel. Okay. All right. Usually this is what happens. It's sort of like a haircut. When you see somebody look at a haircut halfway through and say this haircut messed up. Like, no, you need to... Wait till they put that powder on that brush and brush the hair off and flap that joint and say, okay, and wait for them to get paid before you judge a haircut. You can't judge a haircut in the middle because it ain't been shaped up. It's things that ain't been done. It ain't been trimmed. It ain't been none of those things. So you really, really can't judge something halfway done. So for those who, who, who have any type of, you know, any type of desire for learning, wait till the end before you pass judgment on what I'm saying. You might just get lucky like I did and actually learn something. God is not going to give you a whole fixed man. He's not going to give you a whole, complete, fixed woman. He's not. And that is 90% of our problems. We're sitting around waiting for this perfect man. 
or we sit around waiting for this perfect woman to walk into our lives exactly what we need, exactly when we need it, when reality is that is just a trap, waiting to trap, and it's just something. The most expensive thing that you spend every day is time. The greatest punishment that you pay every day is time. Is the one thing that you are not in control over? It is the one thing that you cannot get back. It is the one thing that you cannot reverse or control. Time is the most expensive thing you spend every day. See, we so caught up in this microwave air fryer mentality now that we don't even realize that you might be a blessing or you might be the mechanic. It's a good word. Thank you, God. For somebody that God has brought into your life. You might actually be the mechanic. Or better yet, let's put it in, a, in, in an even better form. While you running around looking for Prince Charming, you might be right next to, sitting next to, go to work every day with, go to church every Sunday and be in the presence of your mechanic. God ain't going to give you a perfect fixed no work needed man because he needs you to fix someone. He got you in this person's life because you are the answer to this person's prayer. You are the key to this person's perfection. You are going to be the reason this person finds his full potential. And you can't do that if you already meet somebody and who's already put together. Mr. Washington? Give us an example, Mr. Washington. You can't just say that without having no proof. Okay. I go to Amazon I done done it already. And I know it's going to be some women that be like, praise God, hallelujah. This nigga's telling the truth. And some men too. Because there's, there's, and some men too. But men, you know, we like to be macho. We, we like to be macho. And the second part about it is, you know, do you read instructions? No, we don't. But I'll get to that in a minute. God is not going to give you a perfect man or woman and do you read instructions I didn't been online and ordered a dresser from Amazon and they say the dresser is six feet by four feet I'm like yeah that's gonna be huge that's going to be real nice. So I put the drawing right there. Put it on. Put the TV on top of it. You know what I mean? Got some draw space. That way you open up this closet a little bit. Yeah, this is going to be crazy. And it, and, and it come to your house and it's in this skinny ass box. 
You like, how the fuck is I'm supposed to make a six foot by four foot dresser out of this skinny ass box? It's no way in the world this is gonna happen. And all they do to tease you is they put the picture of what it looked like in the front of the box. This beautiful handcrafted <laughs> dresser out of and then you open the box and you empty it on the floor and you got all these little ass pieces everywhere. Got little sticks, little wooden sticks, pegs. Plastic pieces, boards with 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 boards with letters on it. And this is the fun part. This is the part where <laughs> it gets funny. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, everything ain't got to be heavy. This is the part when you get heavy. Do you read instructions? I know I don't. I think I know everything. All I got to do is just look at the box and just take the pieces and put the pieces where they should go. And before you know it, it's two hours, three hours in, and you got... A half of a broke, uh, you got half of a wrong dresser. You didn't waste it all of your happy time. You was happy when you was following the delivery on your phone on the app. You was a little mad when you got the box. But you start being happy about put together because soon you'll have your little pretty dresser that you see on the front of the box. And you forget that the people who made this dresser made it easy for you. God made it easy for you. When you rip in a box open, you pick up this pamphlet with these pieces of screws. Nine times out of ten, it's, a, it's like four or five screws in there. Probably some extra stuff. And then it got a book inside of it. And if you just would have took the time to realize that this is the book that tells you how to make this into a dresser without any heartache frustration you might have a little bit of frustration but if you follow the steps you know oh no we ain't reading no instructions we're gonna get this right i'm a man oh i'm a woman I don't need no man. I ain't caught nobody. I'm gonna put this thing right together. Watch, girl. Call you in 30 minutes. This thing gonna be put right together. Somebody gotta do it. What about if I ain't got nobody with me? Then what? I'm gonna do it by myself anyway. Wouldn't be asking people to take the trash out for. I might have to take the trash out myself. Like, you sound retarded. Do you read instructions? Because if you read the instructions, you'll start to realize that this ain't a bunch of pieces. And you'll start to realize the joy that comes along with achievement. You'll start to see the back of the dresser come together. And then the sides. And then, oh, don't start putting the drawers in. 
you start to feel how it feels when you take something that wasn't together when you take something that was not done for you when you take something and you use your own hands to create or to change a bunch of pieces of wood and sticks and plastic pieces and you turn it into a functional piece of equipment the joy that comes along with that you'll start to understand why God will never give you something a put together fully functional man or woman because he will always have something that you need in your life and you will always have something that he needs in his life that's why when that's why the bible says that when one and one come together when a man and a woman comes together they become one because you will always need your woman and woman you will always need your man to make you better not saying something wrong with you in the first place but you came and you was a box with a whole bunch of pieces in it it ain't nothing like being with somebody who you know is responsible for you turning it out what that dresser look like on the front of the box it's a beautiful thing when you can say to yourself everything that I do for this woman I do because when I came or when I was delivered to this woman when God delivered me to this woman I was just a, a bunch of pieces in the box And then she started to put the last finishing pieces on and measure it. Because you know the women are going to measure it. It better be six feet, four. It better be six by four, girl. I don't even know what that means, but I'm. it better be six by four or something. If it ain't, I'm calling them people back. They will give me a discount, something. <laughs> she, she bring out the measuring tape. Sure enough, six feet by four feet. And now she could put the TV. Now she can put her clothes in the drawer. Y'all don't get me. <laughs> it's okay. Y'all don't get how beautiful this is. Then she can start putting some weight on.